My name is Jeb McKeon, and today we're going to talk about having someone with you while you meet with your attorney or talk to your attorney. All right, so this happens all the time, all right? You're calling an attorney, or in fact, your significant other is calling the attorney for you and setting up a meeting for you. Maybe you need to adjust a parenting plan issue. Maybe you have a personal injury case. Maybe you're trying to set up a will. It could be any reason, but oftentimes, you have someone, maybe a spouse, maybe a significant other, maybe a parent who kind of helps you with these kind of issues and they're on the phone or in the meeting with you, maybe to offer support. This happens all the time. Well, there is one potential issue with this and that, that is if there is another person present when you have a meeting or a conversation with an attorney, it destroys the attorney-client privilege. And what is that? That means that everything an attorney and a client talk about during a meeting or on the phone is protected. The attorney can't talk about it. However, that third party being present on the phone or in the meeting destroys that attorney-client privilege, all right? And that means that, that what's in that conversation is not necessarily protected, and that third party can made, be made to testify about what happens there. Extreme example, all right? So say somebody comes and their mom comes with them to a meeting and they said, oh yeah, I did use those drugs or sell those drugs that I got arrested for. Well, somehow the DA's office finds out. I don't know how they would find out. And they call the mother to the stand and say, has your daughter ever admitted to selling drugs? And they would have to, if they answered honestly, they would have to say yes. They told the attorney and I was sitting in there. And the attorney-client privilege does not protect the things that were said in that meeting. Now, how often does that come up? Not very often, because not often the other side finds out that a third party is present at those meetings, but it is a possibility. So if you want to be ultra sure that something is protected by the attorney-client privilege, the only people present need to be you and the attorney. You can find out more about this legal issue and other legal issues by going to my website, attorney-knoxville.com. You can also view my other YouTube videos.